Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose A and B are sets. Then A is equal to B if and only if we have, for all objects X, X is an element of A if and only if X is an element of B. Now, at first, this might seem a little strange, right? In most uh, books that introduce proofs, this is just taken for granted. However, we're going to prove it. And to show how we can prove it, well, we're going to rely on an axiom from set theory called the axiom of extensionality. And what that tells us is that the converse of this statement is true. Right. Given sets A and B, if for all X, X is an element of A, if and only if X is an element of B, then A is equal to B. So let's prove this theorem. To start out the proof, let's give ourselves two sets A and B. And our goal is to prove this is true, if and only if this is true. And to prove a statement containing if and only if, what we can do is we can prove if this is true, then this is true. And if this is true, then this is true. Let's start by proving if this is true, then this is true. And to do so, suppose this is true. And our whole goal now is to prove this is true. And since we're trying to prove a statement about all objects, give me an arbitrary object. I'll call it x. And our goal with this object x is to prove x is an element of a if and only if x is an element of b. Again, we're trying to prove a statement containing if and only if. So what we can do here is we can prove if this is true, then this is true. And if this is true, then this is true. Let's start out by showing that if this is true, then this is true. To do so, suppose x is an element of a. Now, since a is equal to b, what we're allowed to do is substitute a for b, right? Substitution is one of the properties of equality. So we're allowed to do that. So what have we done here? We have shown if x is an element of a, then x is an element of b. So we've proven if this is true, then this is true. Now we're going to prove if this is true, then this is true. So let's suppose that x is an element of b now. And again, since a is equal to b, we can take b here and substitute it for a. So we have proven if x is an element of b, then x is an element of a. So we have proven if this is true, then this is true. And if this is true, then this is true. So we have proven this is true if and only if this is true. And since x was arbitrary, this means for all objects x, x is an element of a if and only if x is an element of b. So we have proven precisely this statement. And we started with the assumption that a is equal to b. So really, we've proven if this is true, then this is true. So we have proven the forward. Now we're going to prove the converse. Meaning, we're trying to prove if this is true, then this is true. So let's suppose that this is true. Our goal from here is to prove that a is equal to b. But the axiom of extensionality tells us that a is equal to b. Because, well, we have sets a and b. So if we take a here, replace it with a, take b here, replace it with b, we have this is true. But wait a minute, based on what we have here, this is true. Therefore, a is equal to b. So we have proven if this is true, then this is true. So we've proven both directions of the if and only if, which means we've proven the entire statement. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.